everyone welcome back to another exo zeros episode in this episode we are going to be discussing the director's notes for season four fallen sky but before that if you want to updated exo zeros content please hit the subscribe button down below Okay, so for the director's note, season four, Fallen Sky update and new content. Here we go. So greetings. This is Young Zon Choi. So I assume you saw his message a while back and you've seen his, you know, seen seen him already. The director's four EXO's heroes. From this note, I will be delivering you updates on season four and new contents to come. Um, hopefully this comes earlier than expected. The name and details of the contents introduced in Director's Note are a work in progress. Note that they may change and when the actual update is applied. Okay, Season 4 Fallen Sky update. Zion and Bitru have been reunited after a long journey, blah, blah, blah. So this is a part of the story. Three people will be with, who have been banished from the Celestial City, Pentaos and Zion, who has come up against the hidden truth. Okay, will they be able to ascend back? To the sky through the dark cloud a new nation pedas will be updated as background to season four fallen sky so again we are in our season four so pedas is a new region which is located in the northeast sky since pedas region is a part of exos heroes from is apart from the exos heroes exos continent Users are not available to cross the bridge as they did before. Users can only move to the dock by taking the airship. So, we cannot travel there through land, but only through air. Please look forward to the new adventures of Zeon and Pedas. Okay. So, as for the new heroes for um, the new nation, we have here Garland. I think this is the guy. Melissa is actually this one. And Luna is actually in the middle. So, I assume Luna would be the general for this nation let's move forward the members of the veiled group shadow bane so the nation is called shadow bane will be updated as new heroes okay so please look forward to meet the best agents in shadow bane and a surprise actually not a surprise anymore but more or less my, i myself am surprised that they're putting out the mythic class already because um i think they should have focused more first on the content rolling it out making it stable and yet here now they're rolling out a new hero class which is a mythic update so the mythical heroes adorning exos continent will be updated as a new hero class so this is above your fated and um, this is actually the highest tier of heroes so the new hero class mythic is only allowed to be organized one per hero team so you can only bring one i assume they will be releasing others aside from misty here so it's a method of growth is differentiated from the other heroes this season four updates features misty as the first mystic hero class so misty actually looks like an angel i've heard a lot of comments about the artwork again um very good artwork um love the wings actually um looks like really an angel so more or less she will be our first uh mystic misty <laughs> okay so let's move on forward so mystic class hero could be obtained through premium recruit okay so it's here the premium recruit chance up recruit if she has a banner nation recruit and new recruit system mythic recruit okay so mythic recruit is a new recruitment system that applies higher probabilities of recruitment to mythic class heroes so if we obtain her in the mythic recruit their highest probability is actually 0 0.5 already so um if uh, if you mean if you get her in the premium recruit more or less the the the, the percentage would be lower than point point uh, five percent so in mythic recruitment ch uh, chance of recruiting mystic class is 0 0.5 following misty recruitment will be continued through four weeks so i think we'll be able to recruit her through the uh, mythic recruit for four weeks the new commodity mythic recruit ticket will be used in the mythic recruitment so again this is a new ticket that we have to farm this is not zest so this is called a ticket already 
Um, mythic recruitment ticket can be obtained through various events and can be purchased in the store, of course. So, various events, I assume that they will be putting out events, um, um, short-term events for us to farm this currency. Okay, if you proceed with 11 recruit mythic recruitment, you're able to recruit one more above the fated class hero affirmatively. User will earn one mythic mileage per per each ticket used in mythic recruitment. If user earns up to maximum mileage, they get a chance to they get to earn one chance up mythic recruit up to once. Okay. In addition, we prepared step up reward in mythic recruitment, which which can obtain black fate core up to five times okay um this is actually good for for beginners for for those who have started the game or who will start the game this is actually very good the the, the step up reward for mythic recruitment if users follow the new event to recruit me mi mi misty <laughs> mythic recruitment event we are preparing a system which users can obtain five step up rewards just by participating in the event again this is very good for new and beginners uh please look forward to the new update of mythic hero who will take your journey with exos heroes to a new whole level well i expect i expect actually the best from exos especially if they're going to create another class which is a mythic class so so new hero class mythic will be updated soon mythic class heroes was designed also special and certain as Sibonstonia, rather than a higher class of Fated class, rather than a simple strengthness, we expect a reversal of... Okay. Experience of... Okay. Okay, okay. Mythic Challenge Mission. So, I think this, this, this is the one that uh, we will be doing before the Mythic uh, recruitment will be dropped. So, a new, myth a new event Mythic Challenge Mission will begin for users who are waiting for the mythic recruitment so this is actually before the uh, the mythic recruitment so that we could earn uh mythic recruitment tickets mythic challenge mission is a special event that is only preceded during the period of mythic recruitment okay director's intention mythic challenge consists of daily missions daily rewards and point shop as well Daily mission is a daily challenge of 10 missions users can earn challenge mission point by clearing each mission blah 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 so it's a daily mission user can purchase items by consuming challenge mission points in the shop of course but this is an event where you can earn mythic recruitment ticket just by joining exos here by just by enjoying exos heroes okay please look forward to the mythic challenge mission update i think for me i sense that this will be draw this will drop next thursday um actually today is a Today is a Thursday, right? So next a week from now, this will drop, I think, because they will put out the mythic challenge mission before they they put out the mythic uh, recruitment. So greeting season for update string of creation gold premium limited recruit. Okay, greetings. The season four update the stream creation is back. So the dreaded string of creation that we have been dreading for quite a while is back with an anniversary version so if you can see here again these are very good gold fated heroes so you have your fc rachel fc bathroom fc garf and even the 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 common item that they're calling common item is actually good so they are usually mostly fated heroes at, at the bottom so not just the, the the ordinary but some some here are lieutenants um, that you can avail from the game so again this is actually a good stream of creation and may i repeat myself this again th this stream of creation it would be worthwhile for beginners for mid-level players already who want to get garf battery or rachel and have the chance to get all three of them in just one banner so again this is very good for uh, beginners uh, mid-level players and who want to farm these characters or these heroes or these fate cores uh, or fated heroes in this string of recreation so again they should have you know they should have released this a, a while ago uh, probably less than a year or six months ago because again um, 
this could have been helpful to those who started before but again this is now a good uh, jump off point for beginners as well okay so director's intention gold premium stream creation will proceeded within july one month so it's going to be out for a month and is prepared it with a special item list the main item has been chosen by users over the past year is Rachel, yeah, battery and carve. In addition to gold premium stream creation, includes setup reward, which requires up to six levels by increasing the level for each 10 recruitments. These various rewards, including ultimate orb. Okay, so please look forward to the special recruitment. So I think um, ultimate orbs will be included here. So it's here to so step up reward. So 50, 30, gold. Um, nation recruit then this is i think a a fate core and fate core recruit or I'm, I'm, i can't see clearly but this is going to be your ultimate orb as a step up reward so again very good even even i think the 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 veterans of this game would would like this one but again this would be most appreciated by the beginners out there or those who want to start the game now okay so signature link so when the new heroes of pedas was revealed the new reinforcement method of signature force which we have mentioned in the past director's note will be released within the season 4 update so before pedas was supposed to be its own signature force but they canceled it so pedas will be receiving its signature link so signature force is one of the core contents of exos heroes it is a, gro a strong growth system that strengthens all nations by consuming each nation's signature heroes. To lessen the user's pressure to reinforce new nation signature force, we have prepared the signature link system. Okay, so the intention is for the director, eight nations which have their own signature force will be marked as, si as signature nation. Signature nation consists of nine nations, so Vilinombe, Greenland, Estoris Republic, Wasted Red, North One Frosty, Brun, Vagabond, uh, St. West, and... The future nation what which will be in, in season five which is marinos island or marinos okay so there here is the distinction between the signature force and your signature link okay nation that do not have their own signature force will be added in the future such as pedas which will be marked as union nation so they will be categorized as union nation union nation has a limit to strengthen its own signature force but are available to use signature link function which can be linked to a signature nation when a user uses signature link function to signature nation link signature nation signature force reinforcement a lot of signatures in this sentence it's shared to nation union nation the reinforcement will be applied according to the connected union nation signature force transcendence condition okay so from my understanding with this one um you have to transcend one card let's say for example for pedas here um the signature link is stronger uh, if if pedas has more transcendence within that one that you'll be sacrificing for signature link like for example for here you need to sacrifice a copy if that copy has several transcendents, then the, um, the the link would be greater. So Union Nation Signature Force Phase Application Table on here transcendence con conditions. So if you only apply a Fate Core which has no transcendence, so no bonuses. If it's going to be one transcendence, so Stage One Enhancement, Stage One Enhancement One, One Four. Okay, then if two, stage two enhancement four, then three, stage mid enhancement three. Okay, stage three enhancement four. Okay, sorry for that. So more or less, the point is before you activate your signature link, you have to make sure that um, that copy of PEDAS is actually transcendent already so that you could activate this signature force. In addition, when the signature force of a nation is enhanced, the signature nation of the associate nation will be available as material okay users can link multiple unions union nations to a signature nation okay to link or unlink a signature 
to link or unlink signature link the signature hero of union nation will be consumed as material so again if you want to link a union nation and unlink it it will consume again a fated hero or a fated general so signature link will maintain the the balance built up by traditional signature for system and are prepared to lessen users burden of growth well i don't think this is going to lessen burden of growth but this is actually still a burden because you still have to transcend a copy before you suck before you connect your signature link so again this is not that easy guys um well at least they have this out we're, we're, we're gonna have to try this out but again this is not easy you're gonna get multiple have to get multiple copies for that nation okay so signature link will remain the balance built okay i'm done with that so in the first update of season four pedas and the uh, shadow vein will be added to the signature force as a union nation thanks to the users waiting for the signature force of pedas for a long time please look forward to the new battlefield where prithioff and luna changed their fate infinity core reorganization and official season open so finally they're going to open this one um i expect more from them when they open this one not just that the, the one that we're used to doing every week at least once so infinity core has been reorganized and the official season will be open infinity core was designed with a goal of having fun and strategic battles using various fate core however it seemed only certain fate cores were used solve the above problem two reorganization will be carried out and a new reward will be added to replace the weekly normal reward so again so more or less we'll have to try this out um the director's note is first a support buff will be added so that various fate cores can be used so again um there will be additional bonuses if you use a specific fate core for this which is actually good so you don't have to just use the same fate core every week or every time you play this so when a, using a hero equipped with a specific fate core, a powerful affinity given is a buff is given to all allies. If a hero wearing a specific team is not formed, the debuff is applied to all to all allies. Second, the standard of ranking is changed for the level of dungeon clearing and the number of com clear consumed. Previously, it was measured only by the points obtained by clearing the dungeon. Okay, certain stage higher rank. Lastly, the weekly reward for the official season will be paid as a new currency, not or not no longer this. So infinite infinite crystal infinite crystals goods can be only maintained from the infinity core. Okay. So we are prepared to exchange the acquired new goods at Hill One's old store. Okay, it's a new currency that you can spend in Hill One's old store. The product list will be also be include red fate core. Again, another color for Fate Core. Okay, and to everyone was expecting this rank two equipment update to celebrate the season for update. We're preparing the update, the rank equipment. We know that the rank equipment consumed the equipment that was used to develop the hero as a material, the hero as a material, and that gave you a sense of disappointment in the game. Of course, because you build, you build it, then you destroy it, then you construct another one. Of course you're going to be disappointed so rank 2 is designed to be upgraded with a higher level while maintaining the value of the existing equipment thank you <laughs> if rank 1 operating equipment has been upgraded to level 60 it can be upgraded to rank 2 step met by consuming specific materials rank 2 equipment is converted to rank rank up equipment is converted to rank 2 Four star and one level faded equipment. As for the rank up, the guardians to properties of the magical enhancement effects of the existing equipment are maintained, which is good. Golden abrasives materials can be returned when you rank up the equipment in a go in a growth value higher than six uh, level sixty. Rank two equipment can only be worn by awakened heroes, which is actually expected and should be. So more or less, um, I think this is better than the previous one that we had for rank one. And I'm actually eager to test this out when this is rolled out. The rank of a hero is maintained. Only the rank of the equipment is expanded. And the awakening displayed in the thumbnail is changed. Thumbnails will all will be displayed as R without the no, number in R1. Okay. 
Door to creation, signature hero recruit crafting books. So, a function will be added to exchange signature heroes for their signature. Okay, you can exchange two signature heroes that you have random that that you have ran have for a random signature hero. So, I assume this signature hero would be your generals. So, more or less, you could actually exchange your generals already um, for this. You could actually exchange two generals for another general. So it's a random signature hero. Okay, so it, this, it is designed. It is designed not that only other signature heroes can be acquired, except for the signature hero used in the recruitment material, which is actually good because if you st you still get what you're going to sacrifice, then this is going to be a trash function for the game. Transcendence exclusive heroes. So the same hero is required to pr to produce that to proceed with the transcend hero, but the problem that is difficult to obtain the same hero to correct the above problem we are planning to, uh, to prepare a transcend exclusive hero. Flesh eye material can be used for the transcend of heroes, which is actually good because again, like for example for generals, it doesn't you don't have you know you don't you don't usually have the opportunity to get. A copy of those generals so this is a good way on how to transcend them flesh is divided into hero grade and even if the grades are different they are you they use the same name when transcending through flesh eye the same grade must be used as material okay so for example flesh eye cannot be used faded grade cannot be used for mythic legendary okay so there is a classification as well um corresponding to a type of hero so lesh eye so the lesh eye should be the same type as your hero that you're going to transcend so lesh eye cannot be used in any other content other than transcend material so this is actually good it's, it's okay as long as you get to use other copies aside from duplicates for your heroes for transcendence Unified attendance improvements have been made so that that in-game attendance list can be checked in one screen. Okay, you can now check monthly new and returning attendance books. In addition, various attendance events to be updated in the future will be added. Okay, and each potential enhanced material change. At a certain stage in each potential, the solar seal is used as a material. We confirm the opinion of users that it is, that it is inconvenient to check the purpose in use. Okay. So more or less, there's a new currency called the Ar Arkenstone to up to replace the solar seals. So be updated to correct the above problem. Arkenstone will be used to unleash potential content. The ability to exchange existing solar steel for Arkenstone will also be updated. Okay, so again, they will be helping us more in terms of unleash potential, especially for those who are are i think legendary and below so new currency will help us unleash them or unleash their potential choice fate core recruitment schedule so we as we as we informed you in the last note for the director's letter the blue blue choice fate core will be carried out periodically so to commemorate the season for update we are dividing we are going to divide the blue choice fate core into two schedules once again we'd like to inform you that the schedule is mentioned um that is scheduled to proceed at least once a month so we have actually a new schedule so choice june 28th and the other one is july 5th so that this choice fate Korea does not hmm. okay so this choice fate Korea does not include garf heroes team of the great run from the release on june 17th so my guess is uh, i think rara is just going to appear here so probably Garf will be added on another schedule for this one. So convenience improvements, air squadron, daily function, battle UI, manage heroes equipment replacement, manage heroes garden stone, arcverse, blur out the opponent's name, manage fate core, fate core memory. Okay, not not going through that anymore. I'm just going to go through the closing comments. So we'd like to sincerely thank you, thank everyone who has made it possible for us to come this far. Season 4 is coming very soon. We regret to have sent out more apology notes than uh, than 
than other positive notices due to many moments that showed how much we have concerned you with all with fix your <laughs> fix please the the framing of of the english because it's really hard to read i'm sorry regarding the the screen freezing arc burst content and other inconvenience in playing the game we apologize will be we will keep doing our best to provide a better game experience but again guys you keep on keep on disappointing your player base by putting out um putting out low quality content in terms of servers in terms of the game dropping in terms of people not playing the game so i hope you fix this as soon as possible if you need to spend to add to your servers then please do so exo zero is planning to take another big step through the season for updates so another big step which i just i just do hope that you don't disappoint your player base so along with the new releases of mythic great heroes the, the hidden stories about misty and the dragon knight night dragon emperor's night and more stories to come okay okay so we hopefully can fully enjoy exo series stories to the season four more we're planning to open oh okay. yeah you mentioned that as well okay so just my thoughts again with this update um number one please focus on content again you've been blundering content rolling them out and people need more content not not more heroes at this point I, I, that's my opinion not not at this point um fix your content then probably roll out additional heroes so again uh, content is still priority not the additional heroes not even the additional nation but again guys if you fix your game i'm sure a lot of players will be happy with exo so guys for those who have stuck in this last part of this long review please do consider subscribing and click on the bell icon so that you don't miss exos heroes episodes also guys please put your comments down on this update for this director's note what do you think which part of this director's note you like you do, you dislike also guys take care stay safe this is the warden and i'm out of here